Beautiful, right? Okay, so now let's talk about classes of Noah's heart. I have just finished my character creation. My character is here looking really beautiful. And now let's talk about classes. So regarding classes, you need to know one thing. So we don't have situation which we normally have in MMORPGs where you have, uh, when you can pick on the start some kind of class like mage or warrior or ranger or assassin, something like that. You can pick on the start between four different kind of weapons. So you have here from start, this is here sword and shield combination. So obviously if you pick this combination to play with, then you will feel you will feel like some kind of tank kind of class however don't forget you can switch between weapons freely later during your gameplay so it's not something what you pick now and that's it you will use sword and shield forever no it's not like that right so later in the game you are able to switch between four different kind of weapons and that actually determines uh, what kind of gameplay style you have I wouldn't say class because, for example, now if you pick a sword and shield combination, you are not some kind of tank. I mean, it feels a little bit tanky for sure. Your damage is not that high if you decide to play with sword and shield. However, yeah, you have, let's say, a little bit defense on this way. You can see here on the right side, weapon, sword and shield, attack speed, two stars, range, one star, difficulty, one star. So, in my experience, it feels pretty good to use basically any weapon. It doesn't matter. I will show you all of the weapons which you can use. But in general, sword and shield, it feels like a little bit less damage. That's it. Then we have here second option. These are our dual blades. I think that will be written. Oh, this is looking good. So, yeah, dual blades. Attack speed, obviously three stars, yes, uh, you are very fast with this weapon, skill animations are really fast, range one star, difficulty three stars, so difficulty three stars, hmm, I would say, yeah, probably this is not the best choice for a new player, but then again, come on, you, will, uh, you need to feel how it feels under the fingers for you, right? So it doesn't need to mean, when you see here difficulty, that it's really hard to master that much this type of weapon. However, the only problem regarding dual blades, in my opinion, is that you feel a little bit squishy when you are playing the game, you know? When you're using dual blades, you can feel that you are fast, you can really hit fast and run, you can make lots of damage, but you feel a little bit squishy. So regarding uh, dual blades, not a bad choice. I mean, even if you are a new player, if you like to play assassin kind of classes, then pick uh, dual blades. But like I said, you're actually not picking right now your class. You're just picking weapon. Just after, let's say, half an hour, hour, you'll be able already to use other weapons freely, whichever weapon you want, right? So, so further choice here is a spear, polyarm, looking, wow really great and this is my favorite weapon for sure you can see here attack speed one star range one star difficulty two stars however however it feels pretty strong i would say some uh, medium ground between dual blades and sword and shield combination so obviously if you pick spear polyarm you are playing some kind of dps class it has uh, lots of aoe skills in generally and it feels the best, at least for me. When I, will, I, I have tried to play all of these four weapons, and at least for me, this weapon here, polyarm, it feels the best. However, don't, uh, I mean, like I said, you cannot trust to anybody when he's saying uh, that, because that's my personal experience, right? You need to try to play with yourself with different kind of weapons, and then you will decide. And on the end, we have here fourth weapon, bow obviously a range kind of weapon a range attacks uh, attack speed two stars range two stars and difficulty two stars so yeah ranged attacks um, again you feel a little bit more squishy for sure uh, when maybe when i compare that with spear polyarm or with uh, or with uh, sword and shield combination however it still feels a uh, pretty good so 
pick at the start whichever weapon you want. It doesn't matter, throughout a leveling process, you will need to use basically all of these weapons. And then during leveling process, you will already discover which weapon fits better your gameplay style. And that's it. So regarding classes of Noah's Heart, we have here a very clear situation. There are no classes like, uh, let's say, in most of the MMORPGs, which you have on the start, you are, for example, picking between Mage or Ranger or Assassin or Warrior class. No, we don't have uh, this situation here, which is in one way actually pretty interesting and really, really good, a good thing because you can later switch between any, any weapon depending on situation which is very important, right? So there are different kind of mobs, different kind of bosses, which you will see in the game. Also, this game have PvP arenas. One weapon will be your main weapon, for sure, in generally, for PvE and PvP. However, you will need to switch between different kind of weapons, depending on your gameplay style, basically depending on situation. So that's it. I mean, conclusion regarding classes of Noah's Heart. There are no classes, you need to pick between four different kind of weapons on the start of your gameplay, but don't worry about that, later you'll switch between all of these weapons depending on situation, and that's it. So I will pick uh, for start for sure Polyarmor. I will move with this weapon for start because this weapon felt the best for me during close beta test too. So, oh look at this. Okay, so Polyarm, my weapon of choice, and like I said, uh, decide uh, whichever weapon you want. Uh, so let's do this. Let's uh, go forward. Next. Enter character name. Okay, no more than 13 letters. Let's do this. Okay. Because of my YouTube channel, Society of Gaming, I'll put it like this. I hope I will manage to, wait, I can pick. So later you will be able to customize your character a lot. You can see here now different kind of styles. I think on the start of your gameplay, you will have this uniform, this uh, costume here. Later then you will be able to add this one. Oh, I like this one, it's looking good. Look at this. This one is nice, but this one is looking really good. But my hair is changing here. Look at this. I have different hair here. Let me know in the comments below video. How do you like Noah's Heart from information you have so far about it? Do you like cross-platform feature included into this game? If you are interested into MMORPGs, check my YouTube channel for lots of gameplay videos, guides, news and reviews from world of MMORPG gaming with main focus on a new upcoming PC MMORPGs. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos and of course Noah's Heart videos in the future. See you soon.